I'm Michelle from the Herbert Johnson Hatters. We get a lot, asked a lot by our uh, clients, which one should I choose? What are the differences? Um, so this video is to help people uh, understand the differences between the different styles from the different films and within the films, um, so they can make an informed choice. So we offer quite a range. Um, we do a, a Raiders No Turn, we do a Raiders Turn, we do a Cairo. So there's a lot of options for people. So let me talk you through. We start with the Raiders without a turn. Now we kind of fake the turn here, it's, it's how you shape it. But for those that want a hat that sits symmetrically on the head, so there's no turn, the back lines up with the pinch perfectly. There's no twisting at all on it. So you have to fake the, uh, the, the shift in the brim. So that can be done, so that's no problem. So if you're comfortable just wearing it in the oval that your head is supposed to fit in, a bit like how the hats would have originally gone to Raiders of the Lost Ark for filming. So there was no turn put in them by us. Um, that was all done um, by Harrison. So uh, if you're looking for a hat that has symmetry and you want a Raider style, then this is the one for you. Now we do put in the long front pinch. So you've got that lovely pronounced long front pinch. You've got the snap at the front. Uh, we also curve the snap so it comes further round to, to the side um, and you uh, fake the, 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 uh, the curl. So you've got a little curl on the back, as you can see. Nice plump crown and that's your Raiders without turn. So if we move on to the Raiders with turn. Now as you can see here, it's off centre. So we've twisted it here, we've put the uh, pinch in a new place and you can see there's a diagonal. It's twisted on the head. So you put it on and it twists and then the pinch is at the front. So the back of your hat is just slightly round to the side. Now what this does is it exaggerates the brim like that. So you're, you're twisting the oval so that you're putting pressure on a shorter distance. And if you've got a long oval head shape, then you'll get a more pronounced uh, brim sweep. So that's just exaggerating that aspect of it to mimic what uh, the hat looks like on Harrison's head. So all the other features are the same. Um, you've just got the turn in. So if we move on to the Cairo. So by the time filming gets to the streets of Cairo scenes, the hat has um, developed, it has uh, evolved. And the reasons for that is here we're filming in like huge heat um harrison's been ill remember and there's he's sweating and it's hot uh, they folded the sweatband inside and when heat and moisture get into a felt it moves so this is when it's most malleable so we get this kind of hump coming like a, a, a plumpness just on one side so if you see there you get this kind of mushrooming just over where they folded the sweatband. So when you look at it like this, with it's got the turn in, of course, then you get that hump on that side. You can see that plumpness. And it's most pronounced on this side, not so much over the bow side. So you'll get the sweeping, once your head is in it, obviously you'll get the full effect because you'll have that pressure and then the brim will sweep around as it should. So if you're looking for something you, you really love the Cairo scenes, then you're looking for the Cairo style. This is the, the little hump that you get inside here. And again, the sweep in the brim, still lots of plumpness there, and you've got the turn. So that gives you an idea of the differences and why you might choose one uh, between the other. Um, so moving on to the temple, this is a much simpler design. It's, a, it's like an everyday hat, it's very ready. It's much more, um, uh, less sharp on the front. You've got a, a wider pinch. The, uh, the dent, side dents are slightly less sharp. And you've got a, a flatter overall brim. So what I do is I, I flange all of the brims and then I take a little bit of the uh, curve out with the temple just to flatten it down a little bit. It's got shape, so it's not flat. It's not like a, um, a gaucho hat or anything like that. It's got the same dimensions 
um, it does have a snap front brim but it's a lot uh, softer in shape and of course with the temple you've got the exterior bow knot fold in here so that's a feature that is um, for the temple alone so there we have the temple Then we move on to the last crusade. Now this is again is in our deep sable felt. It's very sharp. You've got defined um, side dents, uh, a high pinch, not as uh, defined as raiders, but not as loose as the temple. So this is a really good smart um, hat choice. Uh, so as you see on the um, the Venice Pier scenes when he's paired it with a suit. So it's, it's very easy to um, smarten up with this one. It's got very sharp defined shaping. It's got a slight curl on the sides of the brim. So you get that pronounced kind of lift and that gives a full shortening. So it looks much more of a dynamic, sleek uh, style. So that is our last crusade style. Then we move on to our destiny. Now this is in a nutmeg felt. Um, it has very similar shapings between the temple and the, um, uh, the last crusade. We've got that curl to the side, that lift, and we've got um, a slight kind of sweetheart bit going on in the top pinch. So the, um, the side dents kind of sleek back a slight bit further. So you, when, when you tip up, you can see that little nook there. So it's a really lovely piece of shaping. We've got the sable ribbon, so we have a different kind of uh, contrast than the others. And of course, we've got the uh, olive liner, which makes it so unique. And we have uh, the dark um, chocolate sweatband in here with the, the um, warm gold embossing. So the other two hats we've got in our uh, um, uh, styles is the seaplane, which we have in our storm felt with the black ribbon work, and that's the travel hat. It mimics the uh, raider's styling, but with no turn. Lovely smart uh, gray version. And we've also, if you love the villains, and uh, look smart like our uh, Major Tocht. This is the Major, it's got a wonderful bound edge on it, a folded bow knot, and then the black felt with the gorgeous purple liner. So I hope that gives you an idea of the differences, what our ranges are, and help you make an informed decision on which one is for you.